Cambridge is still on track to become Britain's capital of life sciences, bringing thousands of jobs and billions of pounds of investment to the region. Anyway, that is the view of those developing the Cambridge Biomedical Campus, where the pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca and the new Papworth Hospital will be based. Emma Ball reports. A sure sign of a booming economy. Cranes filling the sky. AstraZeneca's new Global HQ is at the heart of Cambridge's biomedical campus. As a hub for research and science, it's already rapidly growing on the Adambrook site. There are 431 life science companies. They're working on medical devices, are working on drugs, both here and around us in a 10 mile radius. So it's already pretty big. Uh, but it's already growing very fast. So last year, for example, the life sciences industry in and around Cambridge grew by a third, 33%. It'll grow by more in the next year we record that. So it's already an accelerating environment. It's already exciting. The question is just how far can we take it? The development area here is huge. The buildings are going up on a 70-acre site, but there's another area yet to be developed, the size of up to 14 Wembley stadiums. One of the new buildings under construction is the new state-of-the-art facility for an already world-leading heart and lung hospital. Patients are getting older uh, and they need all the other facilities around that is on this campus. But also, more importantly perhaps, is, is the fact that we're in the middle of this huge development where there's going to be fantastic opportunities for research and education. And so alongside that building, there's going to be a Heart, Lung and Research and Education Institute which we'll be building as soon as we get the funds. But as the country prepares to leave the EU, is there a fear that it might put a halt to the growth? Our companies ring up and saying we were thinking of coming and now we're not. The answer to that is no, we're not getting that. Is the phone stopping ringing? The answer is no. People are still making inquiries. So I guess, you, well, we're optimists uh, in this business anyway, but we're optimists on the basis of the evidence here. I think we remain optimistic that we'll continue to be attractive and we'll grow. With AstraZeneca and Papworth Hospital due to be finished next year, it's hoped they'll attract more big names from the world of science. Emma Bohr, BBC Lachiste, Cambridge.